Alright, what's going on guys? G-Dog Casey here and welcome to yet another new series. Welcome back to Civilization V, A Brave New World. I understand Civ 6 is out now, it's actually been out for quite a while, but I don't have it. It's like 80 bucks and I can't really justify spending that money on it when I've already bought in all the other games that I've bought. But that said, um, I have been going through a bit of a major Civilization kick recently. Um, basically everyone in my house has been playing it and I figured, you know what, it's about time we make a series. Now, I've already tried to do this in the past and I had a save file problem that really screwed me and sort of took all the wind out of my sails. I'm hoping that this doesn't happen again. Um, since then I've uninstalled and reinstalled the game probably a couple times, so, you know, I'm, I'm sure that things should be okay uh, in terms of save files and that. But I've also just done a little bit more research and I think I'm a little bit better at the game now. But that said, we're still going to be playing on Prince because I have yet to actually finish a game on Prince. Um, so we're going to try to get this done. I have a feeling that I, I should be easily able to take this, um, but I guess we'll find out, right? So we're going to go Random Civilization. We're playing on a Pangea map to start. I might mix it up in future games if I do future games, but right now I just want to do Pangea. Small, six civilizations, um, and then everything else is basically, basically at the quick game pace, so we can get through the game pretty quickly. Um, and we're doing resources on strategic balance so that we can just make sure that everybody has access to the main things that they're going to need. We've turned off time as a victory type and we've also put on random personalities so that we don't know what to expect from our, our neighbors. So, that said, let's go ahead and start the game and see who we get. Now, I'm not going into this... I, I shouldn't talk now, let's let this go. Most gracious Queen Maria protector and sovereign of the Portuguese people. As the first ever Queen Regnant of Portugal, it was your wise stewardship that protected the royal court from the incursions of Napoleon, establishing a safe haven in Brazil to preserve the integrity of Portuguese rule. Despite struggling with illness throughout your reign, your efforts to ensure Portugal's close cooperation with Brazil are credited with helping that state gain its eventual independence, and for this, you will always be admired and respected by the people of both nations. O oh, noble and pious queen, will you once again guide the kingdom of Portugal in the spirit of cooperation and prosperity? Will you establish a new legacy, one that will surpass all those who came before you? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? I don't know, I guess we'll have to see. So our special ability here, I've never played as Portugal before, so resource diversity grants twice as much gold for Portugal and trade routes, so we'll probably be wanting to do some trade routes there, sounds good. The now is a melee naval unit which excels at sea exploration, it has more movement than the Caravel which it replaces, and can perform a one-time ability next to a foreign land to earn gold and experience. May only be built by the Portuguese. I don't know if we're going to have a lot of chance to use those based on our start here. And Feitoria can only be built in a city-state's lands on a coastal tile without a resource. It provides to you one copy of each luxury, luxury resource type that city-state is connected. Interesting. But that copy cannot be traded. It also provides the same 50% defense bonus as a fort. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how well we're going to be able to put that to use, but let's go ahead and take a look at our start here. So. Being on a hill is good, being next to a river is good, being next to a mountain is very good. Having sheep, <coughs> gems, we have two unique luxury resources here which will be very good for happiness and we also have another citrus over here that we can trade away. So this looks like a good start. We will go ahead and place down our main city, Lisbon. Okay. So some things I've learned here, we want to set this to production focus and then we want to focus on growing our city more so than anything else. So even though this gives us three gold, we really want to make sure we're growing. So if we're here, we're stagnant. If we're here, we're growing in five turns. So that's what we actually want. Now, a lot of this stuff that I've learned, I learned it from watching other people. So I'm not going to try to like use this as a tutorial because I still barely know what I'm talking about. And even if I did anything I do know what I'm talking about, um, I've learned it from other people and I'm sort of just spouting their information. So. It's not really a tutorial, I'm just going to try and, you know, just try to make things work here. So we're going to go for a scout to start with, and we're going to go for pottery to start as well, so we can get started towards uh, learning a religion. 
I'm gonna explore around a little bit here. I'm gonna come to the other side of the water. So I can get up on the hill next turn. Okay. Let's see what we can learn. We already got our scout finished, so we'll send him the other way. Alright, so we do look like we have a coast over here. And here is a city-state, so let's meet them. 30 gold for meeting them first. And we were gifted 8 faith, which is pretty good. Just for free. Uh, we are going to build a second scout. Now this scout I'll send up north. The second one I build I'll just send down south. Okay, come over here. We can do a Pantheon already. So, this is the type of thing that I'm not the greatest at, is picking which Pantheon we should go with. Is there anything, any sort of bonus for having Citrus? We don't have any Desert Tiles. Shrines, this one might be okay, but I don't know. No Tundra either. No Desert. Copper, Iron, or Salt, none of any of those. Uh, don't want faith healers. Faster growth rate, we might take, maybe. Production for cities in a population of three or more. That could be okay, I don't know. Culture from pastures. Well, we don't even know if we have any pastures nearby, although we do have these. Two. And then there'll be, there will be a horse nearby, probably right here. So three pastures. Don't care too much about this. The fishing boat one I use in another game, but I'm not going to be able to use here. Extra happiness for big cities. Extra food from camps. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So in this case, whenever I'm unsure, I just take God King. I'll make a palace, and then that will help us in our main city to grow faster. So that's what we'll do. So right now what we're doing is looking for a place to settle our lands. And we're also looking for our enemies, too. We'll come over this way and come up on this hill. Okay. We've got some barbarians right here. We might be able to skirt past them. In fact, what I'm going to do is eventually just take that warrior back. And I'll send him over to deal with those guys. Alright, so next up we're going to go for a worker. So we can work some of these lands. We're going to need trapping and animal husbandry. But we'll get that soon enough. In fact... We're going to... Oh, are we stagnant? Okay, so we've grown as well. And we're stagnant. So what we want to do is see if we can grow at all. This is a good tile to work overall. But we don't want to be stagnant. So we need to keep growing. If we come here, we're growing slowly. But we're still growing. And once we work these uh, tiles, it's going to be even better. So I think that's probably the best bet. And we'll continue on. We might get hit. Shall we yeah, so you're going to end up moving back, because I'm just going to bring the scout over that way. Once uh, he's finished scouting around the coast here, there are some ruins, which are good. And what can we find down here? Some more ruins. <clears throat> and some more barbarians. And there are there is salt down there. So animal husbandry next, so we can start making pastures. And I would like to switch from this worker to a shrine. Now that we have pottery, we'll make the shrine first, and then we'll make the worker. Okay, we'll take this. What do we get? 13 culture. That's not bad. And also, what do we get here? Nearby barbarian encampments, which is... There's one over there, and there's one up there. So we gotta be careful. So it looks like we can continue to go north here, um, which is neat and maybe this scout might have found the, the bottom of the line down here I guess we'll have to find out but we still want to move the warrior and we still want to continue scouting is there any more places to go oh we found a natural wonder and we want to take care of this thing because it's going to cause problems Rock of Gibraltar, eh? And we can adopt a policy. So, given our start, we're probably going to want to go Tradition. I think Tradition is the one that, you know, almost everybody always does. 
Where can we place cities here? Like, there might be a case for a city somewhere along here. Here's, it looks like there's a lot of resources there. But I don't think we're, we're definitely not going to be creating, like, a whole bunch of cities. There's another case for a city to be made, like, somewhere over here. So we can get one, two, uh, I don't know, maybe we get enough fish, get some citrus, get some wheat. Might be a good spot. But this city will eventually get this fish, so we'd end up moving, like, maybe here. Being on the coast is a good idea for at least one of our cities. So yeah, we're gonna go for tradition. Adopting tradition greatly increases the rate of border expansion in cities and also grants extra culture in the capital. So, and we can later build the hanging gardens, which will help our capital uh, grow very much. Okay, so there's not too much more going on down here. We can't move when we're in their zone of control, so things are a little slow. And look who we've met. Somebody asked her, who's this? Ah, Shura ye mate dane akar shu. Gergina kaya ana amalutalik. Okay, well, we met him. We're gonna come take care of these guys. They are up on a hill, so. They're gonna have a little bit of extra defense up here. But we'll be able to win in the long run. Okay, we made the shrine, now we can make the worker. Keep going. We're going to grow in 12 turns. We're not really growing very well here. Why can't I? Okay. Now, this looks like another decent spot. Lisbon's going to be able to get one, two, three. It's not going to be able to get this, or the deer, or the salt. So having a city down here might be a good idea as well. Okay, so what do we need for those around? We need trapping. So let's get trapping. And we're also going to need... Cal Actually, you know what? Scrap that. Let's get Calendar first. Because that'll give us some more happiness. Alright. So we want to go with Oligarchy. It doesn't help us at the beginning, but it gets us quicker to this one, which does help us at the beginning. So we're going to go for that. And we're going to continue scouting along. So having our enemy up here means that our first settler is probably going to want to come up here. Because we want to take this land that he's probably looking at as well. So we can take it first, and we can secure ourselves these resources. And I am thinking about going, like, right here. Because it'll get us horse, wheat, citrus, and two fish, and a bison. It seems like a good spot. One, one two, three. Yeah, this guy can't reach the citrus either, so. Let's see if there's anything over here. And... We will go on Fortify for one turn, get a little bit of healing. They can't heal, but we can, so we might as well take advantage of that. There's no rush, other than to stop them from spawning, which he did just spawn another dude, so that really sucks. Uh, okay. Hey, we got some more runes. Maybe we'll get a unit upgrade. That'd be pretty good for us. And we got some runes over here as well. We'll wait for next turn. And if they want to attack into me, I am okay with that. But I don't think they will. All right, time for us to attack him now. Take this. Oh, it increased our population. Nice. We actually needed that because we're growing pretty slowly right now. We don't have a lot of growth, but now we do. Check this. So we are going to get a lot of growth once we move over there. Even this tile is better. So let's get off this one and go on to this one. We're also going to lock this one in as well. So now we're growing in five turns, which is really good. And we'll have a worker done very soon as well. So that was a good rune. Ah, we lost the rune to this guy over here. Alright, that kind of sucks. He's got some fur up there. Next turn. Now these episodes are going to be about 30 minutes long each. So, we're about halfway through right now. Okay, so this scout... Alright, what do we got here? So he's in rough terrain, so we're going to go for the rough terrain buff. And we're gonna we're gonna take it slow. We don't want to give ourselves too little health. Ah, oh, there is a way down here, is there? Okay. We are gonna have plantations available by the time we get over here. So let's just come here first. We're gonna build a plantation first. Next, we got four turns until we grow to four. So let's build a granary in five turns. We don't want to build the monument because as soon as we get our next culture. Our next uh, policy, we're going to get a monument for free. So we're, we're not building that. Because it's basically a waste of time. 
Oh, who do we got down here? The Mayans. Cool. Well, maybe we'll do some trading with them. They might be nearby. That's got me wondering if I should go scout down here. Oh my god. They are spawning like crazy. We might need some help from our scouts, even though they're not the greatest. Okay, I can see why you didn't want to go that way. That scout's too far away to help, but this one we're going to need. So we're going to stay on Fortify and hope that we don't have too much of a problem with these barbarians here. As soon as we clear the camp, it'll become much easier. We do have a calendar now. We got Tundra up here, so we're likely getting towards the top of the map here. We might be at the south of the map down here, even. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Why can't we build a plantation? Because it's on a jungle and we can't clear the jungle. Is that right? So then that means we need mining. So we can chop down a forest, and I was wrong about that. So let's come back over here. We wasted some time. You know what? We'll even come over to the horses over here. Alright, you guys are going to come here. We should be okay. That might have been a mistake, but I'm hoping that it wasn't. I think we can withstand two attacks from them. Hopefully. Well, we'll find out. Polynesia. Where are you? Oh, they are trying to attack too. Shit. Okay, we lost a number of people there. Pointy sticks. Pakal has a big army already. Okay, so you are gonna... Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can attack with our scout right here. Do a little bit more damage. And now we need to heal up, though. I tend to be a little overly careful with my units. Oh, shit. What's going on over here? Oh, my God. We're going to lose this worker. Can you move right now? Yes, you can. Okay. I guess he's just going to have to sit in here. I had so many games in a row without much trouble from barbarians. And now I'm having trouble. Oh my god, they're coming in already. Just walking in here like they own the place. We might have to squeeze out another worker, or another warrior. Alright. You take a step back. And fortify. You continue to scout around here. Look around. You do nothing, because there's nothing you can do at the moment. And you are going to come up here. Oh, they're not even going to get the kill. Then we just fortify, I guess. Or they're already fortified. Okay. And we grew in Lisbon. So the piece went over here. But we want it over here. Jeez, this is rough. See what happens. This is rough up here too, but I think we'll survive. Yeah, we'll take the extra gold per turn for now to have an embassy. They're actually attacking the city? They don't usually do that. Okay. Normally I would go for a settler here, but we obviously need another, uh, we need a warrior. So let's do that. You continue to do nothing under the protection of the city. You can come on up here. Yeah, definitely on the northern side of the map here. Adopt a policy. So now we're going to get legalism, which gives us our monument right away. So we're going to already have that. Hmm. You know what? Let's get archery, in case I just want to make an archer. Because <laughs> having an archer is incredibly helpful for early defense. And we're definitely going to be stuck here having to defend early. This scout might die.
I did that because he is going to be too far away to attack now for the other guys. There's a barbarian encampment right there. Oh my god. Okay, so... We'll just have to wait another turn. Next turn it'll die. Everything else is good. So we'll just pass on the turn. Don't you dare. He's daring. No, he's not. Okay. We're going to take survivalism. And again, we're going to rush him in here. He should just get this kill. Because he's the attacker. Nope, he just died. Okay, well then, there we go. So we wasted a uh, scout. And that really sucks. But now we can take this. And we'll get the gold for it instead of them. And we'll keep looking around up here. Hopefully there's not too many barbarians up here. I should be able to skirt on by. Okay, and then now we're hoping to be able to take this. Now, one thing I learned... Now, this is complete cheating, but you might as well do it. Because otherwise you just... You're leaving something on the table here. If we... It's called radaring. If we hold down right-click, we can see where we can walk. And it's not letting us walk here because there's an enemy here. This is letting me know that there's no enemies outside of my sight. So I know that there's not one like here waiting to snag my worker over here. So we should be okay with that. And next turn we'll be able to do that. Yep. Take that extra gold. Now we really need to start pumping out a, uh, a settler. So let's make this pasture. We're two turns away from growing. If we make a settler, we cannot grow. So you know what? Let's just make an archer. Why not? I might be delaying things a little too much, but... I am a little worried about how things are going here in terms of barbarians. And I want to make sure that that's not going to cause me any problems. Alright, so we're continuing to skirt around the edge there. We need bronze working to chop down jungles so we can work these tiles. So you can come down here and we'll try to defend against those barbarians there. There's a city-state here that I can't meet because I can't go in the water. And next turn we'll grow. Okay, so now we're going to focus on pure production because production is going to help us build that worker quicker. So, for example, this is not going to help us at all, but this will. Um, and this is not going to help us too much, but that will. And this is not going to help us too much, but this will. We basically just want to work the two production tiles. So even this one over here can go here. And we're going to boost up our production. So we're starving, which sucks. But, oh, you know what? We're not. We're going to drop down, aren't we? Okay, we don't want to be starving. We want to be stagnant. So can we go... Probably here. We'll stop us there. Okay, fine. We're losing one hammer because we don't want to lose a population and go back down to four. And we still have one more turn we got to deal with here. So let's just complete that turn. And then we'll get ourselves an extra production. Okay, let's go up on the hill. Yeah, of course. So we're going to stand in the woods here, and we're just going to defend, basically. That's my plan. <clears throat> Should be fine to fight this guy. They have the rough terrain bonus, so they're going to be a little stronger. And we already know we grew, so next turn. <clears throat> Don't kill me. There we go. Yes, yeah, so let's go right here. Um, we're going to take the open terrain, just because I like to be kind of balanced, and we're going to rest until healed. Okay. I'm a little worried here, because we still want to make sure we get our settler out. And like I said, I think we're going to build it right there. The archer's out as well. So we're going to bring the archer down to help this warrior. 
and then we're gonna build a settler. And now that we're building the settler, there's nowhere, no way we can grow, so we can get off this and get back on this. So we'll build the settler in four turns. And we got bronze working, which is really good. Yeah, see, this guy's already thinking about bringing his ass up here. So we'll shoot these guys with the archers. And then we're going to attack, too, to just weaken them. And head on down here. Okay, there's Hong Kong. And there's another one. So we got some uh, city-states nearby. Choose a research. So what do we want here? Oh, we need the trapping. Let's get that. Yeah, he's gonna fuck around, probably. Of course! So, you fortify. You... I guess we'll end up sending him down this way. I actually want to move... Oh, you're, on, you're in my way. He's gonna move there next turn. I want to block that spot and make sure that it's mine. I'm gonna bring the archer one step closer. You are done with that, which is great. Now we're going to come over here and construct a mine to get the happiness. We're definitely building a city down here, too, somewhere, so we can get access to all this. I'm going to have to think about that. There might be a good place to put it. Alright. Things are looking a little scary for this warrior. We're going to give him the rough terrain bonus because he's in it. And he's going to keep on... Like, I could have healed him there. But I actually view that as a big waste of a promotion. Now, he might die. And then in that case, if he does, then I guess I'm an idiot. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to target this person to make him even weaker. So he won't be able to do a lot of damage. And now, this guy can definitely withstand a shot from both these two. I don't know about all three. I guess we'll have to find out. Okay, he moved. Yeah, they're not... They're too chicken shit to attack everybody. So, you attack this guy who can potentially run away. And you're dead. You're gonna come over here and keep scouting. The Settler. Yeah, you're gonna move here. So let me just think this one through. So for here, we get access to the Citrus, which we don't get from Lisbon. That's going to be a third one that we can trade away, which is really good. Um, we'll also get the Wheat, the Horses, the Bison, and even one, two... Oh, we're not going to be able to reach the... We're not going to be able to reach the Fish. And we can reach this one, but Lisbon can reach that one too. So what if we went here? Then we can... We can even get the iron and the fish. Okay, this is a better spot. That's why I gotta think about it. Choose production. Do we want to squeeze out another settler? No, we want to squeeze out another worker, I think. So you're gonna head up here. We're gonna adopt a new policy. We'll get this one so we can stop losing gold. And make sure that we're happy. We're going to be happy, though, as soon as we get these uh, online. So let's keep going. We are getting close to the end of this episode. I want to at least plant down this city, and then we'll call it there, though. Even right. old beasts and wandering birds do not fall. Shit, I totally forgot. Now that we finished the, uh, the settler, we need to get back to growing. We're starving now, so let's stop starving. So let's... Uh, Assign all of our citizens here. So we want to focus on food tiles like that one. This one. This one. Can't do it here because there's someone there. Um, this one. And this one. There we go. So we're growing again. Good thing we didn't lose a population there. That would have been pretty shitty if we did. Again, they spawned another one. So it's a really good thing we made this archer. Because th this warrior is going to have a hard-ass time without him. We're going to go ahead and come on through here. We're not too worried. 
Come here. Yeah, we're gonna stand over here. This is the one we're gonna take. Let's get writing so we can start to work towards our uh, science, which will be important. Okay, go ahead and fortify here. Yeah, we almost starved. Good thing we didn't. What? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead and shoot. So we want to bring the archer up closer. And see, we can do a little bit of radar in here to see if there's an enemy around outside of view. See, there's someone here. It might not be a barbarian, but there's someone here, so we can't stand here. That's how you can kind of tell. It's it's cheating, but like, what do you want me to do, man? If I deliberately don't use it and then lose somebody because I didn't, then that makes me look stupid. Okay. Something else I learned uh, while, you know, doing some research about this game and trying to be better than a peasant scrub... See, this plan is really working out for us, because now these guys are dead. This worker we just built, so we're going to come over here and finally get some of these uh, citrus online. So this is something else that I've learned here. This is a IF worker for a city-state. What happens if we just click on him? Oops, we're going to go to war. Okay, well, let's go to war. Let's steal this worker. He's pissed. Let's talk to him and make peace. And now we have a free worker that we didn't have to build. So, there you have it. <laughs> that's that's that trick in a nutshell. Now, the only kind of shitty thing about that is that we should probably um, escort the worker back home. And we'll do that. We'll actually take the scout. We'll come back this way. We'll see if there's a way to get to our city down here. Actually, that's not true. Never mind. We want to go up here because that's where we're actually building a city, so... Scratch everything I said, and let's just go ahead and continue. So we've killed this. I think I actually skipped some turns there by accident. So that was a bit of a mistake. We're going to move these guys. We're going to give them open terrain. We're going to move them here. And then have them shoot at the archers. Which, with their open terrain bonus, they're going to do a little bit better there. We're going to take the worker and move them here. The scout's going to do nothing. We're just going to protect him just to be safe. And we're going to come over here and get this. Oh, we already have a mine on there, which is good. That's why we have nine happiness. So we're going to come get both of these citrus online. Three turns. What can I build in three turns that will help me? In five turns, we can build a caravan. So let's do that. Because our caravans are going to be really good, right? We get extra gold from our caravans, from what I understand. So we definitely want to make sure they're up and going as soon as possible. That was something I wasn't sure was going to happen. That's really annoying. Pretty much the worst thing that could have happened, to be honest. But whatever. Because this guy's on Fortify, I kept forgetting to actually like control him. And I'm paying the iron price for that. So, I made a mistake down there. So, we're going to get this plantation going. You're going to move over here. We're going to choose a research. So, what do we got? Everything we have around us is able to be worked. Including down here. And including up here. So, in that case then, let us work towards something that can actually help us with... Go for philosophy, why not? Not really sure where we want to go with that just yet, but kind of doesn't matter. Okay, Porto. And you will produce a shrine first. Not a lot of production here, but it is coastal. Okay, you are gonna come here and kill this. Take the gold. Now no more spawning down here. And this seems like a good time to stop it. We've already gone a little over 30 minutes. So here we go. This is our start. 
We have our second city here. We're going to build this caravan, and then as long as I can remember to next episode, I think I want to make a settler to come down here. And we're going to think real hard about where we want to put this city. One, two, three, four. So right here, I would have access to one, two, three, but not the fish. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this tile. One, two, three. One, two, three, three, three. I mean, I don't need the fish if I have one down here. This might be a good spot right here. Hopefully I remember that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. As always, this is episode number one of a new series. So these ones, when you hit the like button on these ones, it means a lot more. Um, it means that I know you guys are interested and you want to see more episodes, so it fires me up to make some more. So please do that if you like, and leave a comment down below if you have anything you want to say to me. And that said, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.